Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Virtual Encounters. I'm Abhishek Mahajan. We have a very, very interesting guest today, former India cricketer, utility player for India, Mr. Kirsten Ghavri, who played 1975 and 1979 World Cups for India. Later, he took up coaching also. Welcome, sir. Welcome to DD News and DD India. First of all, how have you been doing and how are you dealing with these tough times? Well, uh, uh, first of all, you know, I would uh, uh, like to say a big thank you to Doordarshan and Abhishek, you personally. Uh, thank you very much, you know, for having me here. And uh, I mean, it's a, it's a really rough time, you know, for all of us, not only in India, but world over. I mean, this pandemic, you know, the corona has uh, played a big havoc. And uh, I mean, a lot of things have been restricted. And uh, I... Uh, I wish, you know, everything, you know, comes uh, to life uh, again very soon, hopefully. Only thing is, you know, people have to be uh, very careful and take a lot of precautions. Uh, whatever the government, you know, the guideline says, if we follow those things, I think, you know, we should uh, uh, overcome, you know, uh, this, uh, the, the war. Yeah. I also know, sir, that you are a very, very good cook. Uh, you have been cooking at home. Because you need oh, yeah, something, practice. you need something to pep you up. So food is the no, biggest. No, 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 no. I mean, uh, practically every every day or maybe every single uh, second day, uh, you know, that keeps me busy and I love it. You know, I love cooking, irrespective of whether I make a vegetarian or non-veg, <laughs> but I, I love doing that. So you have played uh, two World Cups for India, 1975 and 1979, but yes. India didn't do that well. Uh, I think in two World Cups, we only won just one match. Uh, you want to share uh, those memories and also uh, how prepared were we uh, going into the World Cup 1975 and 1979? Yeah. Well, I tell you one thing, you know, uh, to be very honest, hmm. uh, when we went uh, for the inaugural of the World Cup in 75, Hmm. That was called uh, Prudential World Cup, and yeah. again in '79 it was called the same thing. Hmm. And those two World Cups, Indian team, uh, we were not prepared at all, you know, okay. for a 60-over game. Okay. Those days it was not a 50-over game; it yeah. was a 60-over game. Yeah. And uh, we hardly uh, had an, any idea of you know playing how to play limited over cricket. Hmm. So uh, we had no preparation. We had no game plan. Uh, we had nothing at all. I mean, we just went there and uh, it was just outing, you know, for us. And I mean, um, the statistic, you know, suggests uh, that out of these two uh, World Cup matches, we must have played seven or eight matches. But uh, we hardly won anything except, you know, we beat uh, uh, East Africa in 75. And that yeah. was it. You yeah. know, that was the only game we won. But mm. otherwise, with the rest of the games, you know, we lost. Mm. Uh, some of them, you know, uh, badly. Some of them very badly. But, you know, the lose is a lose. Yeah. So, uh, it was very, very disappointing, you know, for Indian cricket team uh, yeah. to participate in the World Cup. And we lost, uh, uh, you know, a lot of matches. We never uh, qualify. There was no question of qualifying. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, it was, I think, you know, it was a great, you know, learning process, you know, for Indian cricketer. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the way, you know, the Indian cricket team, you know, bounced back in 1983. Yeah. It was, it, it was absolutely remarkable. And it was absolutely like, you know, mind, uh, uh, you know, like, you know, uh, it was like a hurricane. Yeah. I mean, okay. Kapil Dev's team, yeah. uh, they're wonders, you know, to Indian cricket. Hmm. And uh, since then, the Indian cricket team has never looked back, you know, in, uh, in respect of, you know, one-day cricket or now uh, 2020. Uh, we, uh, uh, I mean, uh, nobody can really master the game. Yeah. You know, game itself is a master. Yeah, that's but, right. But we have, we have some, you know, time to time, we have some great, you know, quality players in hmm. Indian side. Hmm. You know, since 83 and uh, uh, no one can uh, deny that uh, 
the, the caliber of, you know, Sachin Tendulkar and Saro Ganguly and Azaruddin and Kapil Dev and, you know, uh, many others, you know, like yeah. Sehwag and Lakshman. Yeah. And now, you know, we have Virat Kohli and, you know, uh, Sharma and all that. Yeah. But they are all uh, great uh, cricketers, a great mm. uh, sportsman. Mm. And uh, uh, they are the one. And uh, the, uh, the, the coming generations will keep the Indian flag, you know, high uh, in the... Uh, uh, in the field of sports. Yeah, sir, you uh, spoke about that uh, in 1975 and 79 World Cups, we were uh, not prepared that well. And yes. we bounced back in 1983, not only doing well, but went on to win the World Cup and beating West Indies in the finals. And the way uh, uh, we did in semi-finals also beating Zimbabwe uh, and outstanding knock by uh, Captain Kapil Dev. But what do you think was the biggest reason that we bounced back so well? Uh, were the players were very confident before going uh, in the World Cup? Or was it out-of-the-box thinking? Or was it Kapil Dev who instilled confidence in the players that yes, we can do well and not only do well, but can also uh, win the World Cup? Well, uh, to, to start with, you know, 1983, Hmm. Uh, when we uh, went there to participate in the World Cup, uh, there were no great you know, expectations that the India will win. Hmm. I mean, uh, uh, people always thought uh, the Indian team will uh, do maybe a little better than 75 and 79. Yeah. But, you know, uh, lots and lots of people uh, never thought that you know, India will qualify. Yeah. And uh, to qualify in 83 World Cup, I give a lot of credit, you know, to Kapil Dev okay. personally and even otherwise, hmm. because he's knocked, you know, against the Zimbabwe, hmm. uh, those 175 odd runs. If he had not scored, because you know, uh, we had lost, you know, early five wickets. Yeah, and then uh, he went on, you know, scoring all those brilliant runs. Yeah. and because of that match and that win, India, you know, uh, like qualified to play further. Yeah, and then. Uh, you know, we beat England, uh, I think it was at the Old Trafford yeah. uh, cricket ground. Mm. And uh, once we started, you know, like uh, uh, we qualified, then mm. uh, they started believing in themselves mm. that, you know, they ha we had beaten, you know, the West Indies in the initial rounds yeah. in 83. Mm. And then if you beat, you know, like the world champion and both the times in 75 and 79 West Indies, uh, were the champions. Mm -hmm. And if, if India can beat in West, uh, the West Indies uh, in England, yeah. uh, they started believing in themselves. If we can beat West Indies, we can beat anyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had some you know, great quality all-rounders. You know? All-rounders played a very big part in yeah. 1983 World Cup win. Yeah. We had at least six, seven of them. A great, I mean, a quality uh, and, you know, uh, you know, like uh, uh, utility cricketers. Yeah. I mean, they were uh, guys like, you know, Roger Bini, you know, Kirti Azad, Ravi Shastri, Kapil Dev, Madan Lal, uh, uh, Mohinder Amarnath. Yeah. You know, they chipped in uh, with the very crucial wickets, crucial mm. runs uh, mm. at the at the different times. Mm. But, you know, their contribution uh, was a great result of uh, India doing well. Yeah. Indeed, they did so well and uh, cricket in India changed after that miraculously. So, talking about uh, you personally, share your memories of playing for India. You played first class cricket for almost 15 years, six years of international cricket. You were India's strike bowler. How was the journey of playing for India? Well, uh, it's a great honor you know, to play for India yeah. and I'm, uh, I'm, well, I'm very happy that uh, I represented uh, India right from 1974-75 till 1981. Mm. And uh, I mean, whatever the uh, small contribution uh, uh, is there, you know, as far as the cricket goes. And I'm, I'm very, very, you know, satisfied. I'm very content and I'm very happy uh, more than anything else. I'm not a, uh, a great, you know, uh, guy who, uh, calculates the wickets and the number of runs and the number of 50s or whatever you've done. 
Uh, mm. But the biggest, you know, like for me, you know, playing for India, it was like, a, you know, climbing a, a Mount Everest. Yeah. You want to uh, share your best moments also uh, in international cricket? Well, see, every test match is important. Yeah. Every match is important. Mm. So, you know, you cannot, uh, I mean, uh, particularly uh, identify, you know, certain matches. I mean, there are some, you know, very special matches. Mm. But uh, overall, every test match is very, very important as, mm. as anyone. Mm. Right. And also, sir, uh, you think you could have played more for India and uh, playing 1983 World Cup, which India won, would have been great if you had played? Well, I wish, you know, I was a part of the uh, the team, which yeah. we won the World Cup in 83. Hmm. I mean, uh, uh, I would have been a really a proud man. I'm, I'm still a proud man because even if I was not uh, participating in the team, but my, mm -hmm. my friends and my colleagues mm -hmm. and my uh, fellow Indians, uh, they won the uh, World Cup. That is more important. You know, That's you right. take me as one of the citizens of India. Mm -hmm. I'm happy as anyone else. Mm -hmm. And also, sir, uh, I mean, I was looking at your videos. I was, though I was very small then, I was looking at your videos. You had an unusual skill of bowling. Uh, medium pace also, and then left arm orthodox too, spin bowling, fast and spin both. How did that happen? Well, uh, basically, uh, you know, in my school days, I was a spin bowler. Okay. I was, I was never a fast bowler. Hmm. But, uh, you know, those days, uh, uh, you know, those, one of those school match, you know, final match, uh, the previous day we were playing football, you know, without any shoes, with you know, they sell bachche khelte na, nange okay. paam and all that. Okay. Uh, we were playing football and our uh, strike bowler, he was a captain as well. And mm. we, while playing football, he injured his toes. Okay. And next day, he could not even wear his uh, cricket shoes. Okay. So, uh, I mean, obviously he was, uh, he dropped out. And mm. uh, our coach, you know, just uh, suggested, he said, Carson, you just, you know, take, you know, 8, 10, 15 uh, yard run up and uh, start bowling with a new ball, hmm. uh, which I did. And yeah. to everyone's surprise, in uh, in seven overs, I picked up, you know, five wickets yeah. uh, with the new ball. Hmm. And then uh, my, uh, my cricket coach, you know, uh, pressurized and suggested that I, I should continue uh, with the new ball and hmm. uh, start practicing, practicing hmm. with it. Hmm. And this is how I become a medium fast bowler. Okay. And you want to share that incident when uh, first time uh, you were asked to bowl spin bowling also? Well, uh, in my, uh, the entire test cricket of 39 test matches, mm -hmm. I bowled only twice. Okay. And uh, both the times, both the times I picked up wickets. You know, the, the first time it happened in 1976 at one test stadium, yeah. you know, yeah. against England. Hmm. And uh, we had uh, uh, the greatest of the fast bowlers ever in, uh, you know, as far as the spin department is concerned. Like we had Vishen Bedi, we had Prasanna, yeah. we had Chandrasekhar, Chandra uh, we had uh, Venkat Raghavan. Yeah. And uh, in spite of, you know, having all these guys you know, in the team, you know, uh, they, uh, unfortunately, they uh, could not pick the wickets. And uh, Bishan Bedi uh, tried, you know, very, very hard and bowling his heart out. Mm. And uh, uh, unfortunately, he failed. Mm. And then uh, he went in. Uh, he was a captain in you know, 1976 uh, a series against England. Mm. And the match was happening at one Chris area. Mm. So he went in, you know, for a small rub or something like that. Mm. And he gave the captainship, you know, to Sunil Gauskar. Mm. And he said, Sunil, you take care of uh, the team now yeah. on the field. And uh, Sunil, straight away, he gave me the old uh, uh, old one to bowl. Mm. And uh, uh, within no time, uh, I bowled you no know, spin. I picked up five wickets, five for 35. Yeah. Uh, a bowling okay. spin. <laughs> and uh, England uh, got, you know, all out and all that. And mm. by meantime, uh, Bishan Bedi was all 
all set to come in mm. and he when he when he was just about to come in mm. he saw you know the entire england team and the indian team uh, mm. coming back you know towards the pavilion yeah so he asked you know uh, he asked uh, you know the manager he said manager why these guys are coming uh, you know back to uh, the mm. pavilion mm. manager said you know the england is all out mm. and uh, then he said but within no time who has picked the wickets mm. he said the uh, carson gavi has uh, got five wicket so he said uh, did sunil took the new ball yeah he, he said you know did sunil take the new ball mm -hmm. uh, he said no no they, they continued <laughs> uh, with the old ball only but you know carson mm. gavi bowled spin mm. and uh, he has picked up five wickets and england is all out mm. so as soon as we uh, reached uh, the uh, changing room you know the dressing room mm. uh, he caught uh, hold of me he mm. said he said carson you know now now on not even in the nets you know you will never bowl you don't bowl spin at all i said bhai bhai i have just picked up five wickets <laughs> he said agar tum panch wicket le loge to main kya karunga <laughs> abhi dekho wo ek uh, shayad ये ह्यूमर भी हो सकता है राइट राइट एंड इन द सेकंड ओकेजन इन अ वेरी सिमिलर फैशन इट हैपन एट एडिलेड इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया अगेन बिशन बेदी वाज नॉट इन सुनील वाज कैप्टन अगेन ही गेव मी द बॉल एंड आई पिक्ड अप थ्री विकेट्स इन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर मैच यू नो आई गॉट लाइक यू नो ग्रेग चैपल आउट इन बोथ द इनिंग्स सो यू नो आई i got an opportunity to bowl with the old one hmm. only twice in my career hmm. but you did amazingly well five wickets in the first match and then three in the yeah. next test match but sir you uh, how was your camaraderie with uh, kapil dev uh, you shared a very good record also bowling in tandem i think uh, 25 tests you have played together and you have a very good record when you yes. bowled in tandem then you uh, there was not even a single partnership of uh, over 100 runs yeah 100 runs yeah. so how was your uh, tuning how was your well, uh, uh, radri with kapil dev like you know the tuning was like a rolls royce <laughs> you know uh, smooth as ever okay you know and we we uh, you know uh, we really complimented you know each other hmm. though uh, there was some you know healthy rivalry you know between two of us hmm. uh, if he takes or if i take one wicket you will always think you know i must get uh, two wickets if okay. he takes two wickets i always thought i healthy, must get healthy wickets. competition healthy competition yes and okay. uh, uh, since i mean till our playing days you know kapil and myself and other guys we've been the best of friends yeah hmm. okay so uh, tell us the best moments of the field too uh, uh, how was your bond with members of the other team also maybe west indies pakistan australia you used to hang out after the match yes certainly i mean uh, particularly especially in pakistan hmm. uh, we went on a tour of 78 79 okay first time you know after 18 years okay. and uh, guys like you know mohsin khan wasim hmm. raja okay. they were they were so good hmm. i mean being a, and they were playing you know for pakistan at that time but you know outside the boundary land we were friends you know mohsin yeah. and wasim used to take us to their home mm. you know like you know to have a meal or going out you know used they used to take us out you know for shopping mm. uh, and they were they were really nice you know but you know such a, a thing has never happened uh, uh, with the english players or the australians mm. or the even west indies because uh, those days you know the the trip to west indies and all these countries uh were not very frequent okay so but mostly, uh, mostly with pakistan players you were good friends uh, like you know pakistan and uh, maybe uh, maybe australian you know okay but mm. very little very little mm. Mm. and uh, so i want to ask you about the life after cricket when you retired you played 6 years of international cricket 15 years of first class cricket and later you after retiring you took up coaching also and you were a fantastic coach mumbai bengal saurashtra you want to share uh, that experience with us yes i mean uh, 
see all these you know international uh, the brigaders hmm. uh, some day you know they have to pack it up hmm. and uh, either you know uh, there are there are a lot of you know avenues are opened you know for brigaders yeah. like you know either you become a a commentator or you become a, a media guy or you hmm. become a a cricket coach or an umpire or a match referee hmm. there are there are so many things uh, you can do and hmm. i choose uh, to become a coach and uh, uh, fortunately i was quite uh, successful you know with the teams like mumbai bengal saurashtra you know tripura and uh, i did a lot of things you know at nca you know the uh, national cricket academy yeah. for a number of years hmm. so uh, it was it was very very satisfying you know coaching uh, was uh, was a thing like you know to motivate the young young guys hmm. uh, and share uh, your experience with the young fellows hmm. right and also sir you have uh, played cricket with the legends of the game you yourself uh, was the legend uh, you played with sunil gavaskar you played with kapil dev gandappa vishwanath Nawab Patodi, uh, legends of the game, uh, Maninder Singh, uh, Bedi Saab, uh, Chandrasekhar Prasanna, and many more. Who, according to you, was the greatest cricketer India has ever produced? See, uh, you have given a lot of name, and they they are all greats on yeah. their own ways. Yeah. I mean, it's very difficult to identify num one. Hmm. But you know, Tiger Patodi was a great cricketer, okay. a great uh, athlete, a great hmm. sportsman. Mm. a great human being mm. and uh, above all he was mm. he was a, a supreme captain okay uh, you know in his mind only he used to play games like you know uh, strategy wise you know making a game plan and he was so confident of his player mm. so you know i'm i'm just not uh, talking about one player but you know they are all you know like sunil gavaskar mm. uh, the number of uh, runs he has scored number of century he has scored Hmm. They are all top class and the great players of the world cricket. But if I yeah. ask you, what is the uh, biggest difference that you see in cricket of 70s and 80s? Of course, there were no helmets and cricketing gears that you used to wear of not very good quality, uncovered pitches, uh, restrictions, no restrictions on bouncers also back then. Uh, yeah. But you think cricket has evolved a lot? And uh, I don't know if I should say this or not, but uh, you think cricket is a little easier? these days no 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 it's uh, well the game remains the same mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, but more challenging think, when you used to play well uh, every time you play you know whether you know uh, we played in 70s or uh, yeah. in 80s mm. uh, even there you know it was a challenge mm. but you know today i personally feel you know the players have been, uh, been, uh, you know that there is more in you know, awareness yeah. you know they are more professional hmm. uh, they are uh, more in you know, a career minded because okay. uh, now uh, money is pouring in uh, hmm. in the game in india yeah. particularly hmm. I mean, not only in india but everywhere hmm. so i mean the uh, the sportsmen uh, you know especially the cricketers hmm. you can make a career out of it yeah. but you know in uh, in 50s 60s and 70s yeah. you can't make a career out of uh, yeah. the game you, you all know, used to work also alongside we used to work in uh, companies yeah. yeah you know i mean not only me but everybody including mm. sunil kavaskar and myself we used yeah. to work together yeah. in uh, acc you know the cement company okay and uh, like uh, so many other you know the uh, uh, corporate houses like tatas or mahindras or mm. western railways or the state bank of india Hmm. they used to employ uh, good quality cricketers and make their own teams uh, right uh, two three questions sir before we wind up uh, yeah. talking about the uh, current indian team you think indian team is in safe hands under the uh, captainship captaincy of uh, virat kohli and uh, ravi shastri as coach of course i mean uh, see if you if you go by the statistic hmm. uh, what they have done in last few years you know they have uh, reached us uh, mm. uh, on the on the top of the ladder mm. uh, and uh, india is a team with a reckoning yeah. you know in three all three format yeah. and we have some great you know quality players in the mm. side 
yeah. you know, all round player. Like, you know, earlier, uh, a lot of people used to say we don't have a uh, good enough, you know, fast bowlers. Today, we have four, five of them. Yeah. Uh, quality fast bowlers. Yeah. But uh, the only department we are lacking uh, is uh, the spin department. Okay. Uh, we have Ravi Chandran, Ashwin, you know, mm. and uh, Jadeja. Uh, Jadeja. Yeah. But apart from uh, these two, uh, mm. there are not many uh, a very, very good spinner uh, okay. in the country. Okay. I mean, okay, Char is there, but you know, mm. a very inconsistent. Yeah. Uh, you know, Kuldeep Yadav is there. Yeah. Not very consistent, mm. but uh, I hope uh, in time to come, mm. uh, if, if we can produce, like earlier, uh, some quality uh, spin mm. bowlers. Yeah. We we are we are on top of the world, you know, as far as the batsmen are concerned. Mm. We uh, we can compete uh, with our fast bowlers uh, against any team, mm. and we have done it, you know, in the last few years. Mm. We have won the series in Australia. We have yeah. won the series. In India, we have won the series in England, West Indies, everywhere. Mm. So, you know, Indian team will not look back, you know, for next uh, uh, maybe five or ten years. Mm. And how do you see India's chances in World Test Championship also against New Zealand? World Very Test good. Championship I, final? I think, you know, we, we should, do, should do well. And uh, it's, a, you know, it's a great opportunity. Uh, to do well. Unfortunately, their Indian team uh, will not get enough time, you know, to prepare themselves, yeah. you know, uh, practice or play practice matches or something like that. Mm. They are uh, going into a test match uh, without any any preparation. But yeah. I'm still, I'm quite uh, hopeful and I'm confident mm. India will do well against New Zealand. Okay. And last question, sir. Uh, what advice uh, do you want to give to the youngsters who want to do well in uh, cricket and also uh, in any international sport, they want to play professional sport? Well, uh, number one is the hard work. Yeah. Hard work always pays and, you know, along with that, mm. uh, one has to be uh, disciplined, mm. one has to be focused, yeah. one has to uh, decide uh, mm. where exactly you want to reach and mm. uh, the reaching uh, the target, hitting the bullseye, yeah, uh, should be the target. Yeah, right. Hitting the bullseye should be the target. Hard work, discipline, and focus. These, this, these are the keys, and this is very, very important if you want to do well in international cricket or uh, be it any any other sport. Thank you, sir. We'll wind up here. Thank you for giving us your precious time. Stay safe. Thank you so much. So All the much. very best, uh, Abhishek, and uh, Doodarshan. All Thank the you, way sir. Best. Thank you so much.